In the previous lecture, what we did was selected some keywords and use that as the driving force behind where our video ads display. Now we're going to get a little more precise, a little more tactical, and we're going to show you how to place video ads on specific YouTube channels and on specific YouTube videos. So let's go down to campaigns in the left here. And what we're going to do is select the campaign that we had created, which is Video Efficient Reach 2023-0322. Click that. And now we're brought to the ad groups. And this is really where we're going to start editing the placements. And these are the ad groups that show up under that specific campaign. The YouTube advertising user interface is not as intuitive as it is with other programs. So with other programs like LinkedIn, Facebook, Snapchat, etc., TikTok, they all follow this standard template of how things get organized. YouTube and Google are a little more confusing. So to get to the section that we want, we actually have to click this blue button that says more details. And here you can see that we are targeting these specific keywords. So let's go in and try to edit these. Now we're brought to this UI and you can see that there are different tabs, topics, topic exclusions, placements, placement exclusions, display slash video keywords, and display slash video keyword exclusions. What we want to do is we want to go into placements. And again, highlighting the fact that the YouTube interface is a little bit confusing, you might miss this little gray text that says add placements. Let's choose that. This is where we're going to be able to put in specific YouTube channels. So let's select YouTube channels. Now you can see that it's blank, so it's not suggesting anything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into YouTube and type in product marketing. I'm going to select the first video. Go to this person's channel, copy it or cut it. Type it in here and select it. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to select another channel. So let's say Jeff Sue. Cut his URL for his channel and add that as well. Enter. Hit the check mark. So you can see that the YouTube channels have moved from the left to the right, and these are the ones that I've selected. Now, the other thing we can do is we can go after specific YouTube videos. Now, if I select a channel, it doesn't really do anything. So what you need to do is paste the URL again for the channel on the left. And then what it'll do is it'll populate some specific videos. Now, in this case, I am just going to choose to target all of this person's channel. There may be somebody else who has a particularly popular video, but perhaps the channel overall doesn't perform that well. So let's see how we would do that by targeting a specific YouTube video. So by searching for Product Marketing Manager, I found this video by Hangry Wang. I don't know how good his channel is, but just for demonstration purposes, let's just say we're only interested in this video. So I cut the URL from there. I'm going to paste it here. It's going to take some time to generate. Then I can select it. So you can see here that I have a mix of broad targeting for two channels and specific targeting for this one individual video. Now, YouTube is warning me that uh, combining these multiple targeting methods can limit, limit your campaign performance, uh, but I leave that to you. What you may want to do is have a separate campaign where you're targeting specific videos versus another campaign where you're targeting uh, specific channels and see which one's performing better, or you can choose to combine them as I did here. If you ever wanted to add or delete placements further on, what you could do is just make sure you go into the placements tab, hit this little edit icon, and then you can see where you can add more channels, you can add more videos, or you could go in and uh, remove one of those channels. Maybe it's underperforming, or maybe you thought it was about one particular topic and it turned out to be another. Now, similarly, uh, what we could do is we could start going into those keywords that we created previously. So I'm gonna go into here, and you can see that we only have three keywords. We could start adding more. And now YouTube is making suggestions. So they could say product management, company and marketing, product management system, uh, product management software. So we can choose to add or delete keywords as we want, and we can uh, choose to add all of the ideas that we wanted to and hit save. So now we have a roster of, of much more keywords that we can go after. Another useful thing is to put in negative keywords. So for example, maybe you want to get rid of people that are searching for free. Well, you could go in here and add in the word free or add in a competitor's name if you don't want to advertise to people searching for your competitor. 
same, we can do the same thing with placement exclusions as well. So put in specific channels, competitors, partners, et cetera, where you don't want to advertise for whatever reason. Now, the other thing I didn't show much detail on was the topics targeting. So we could go in here and add a topic. So if we go into business and industrial, we could market to advertising and marketing and maybe select something like brand management, perhaps also public relations as topics. Uh, we could add in other topics, maybe related to uh, shipping and logistics, if that happens to be who our target audience is, hit save, and now we'll target uh, based around those topics. We can also put in topic exclusions. So maybe there are specific subtopics within that where your product or service isn't relevant. Well, we can do that as an exclusion. It's essentially doing another example of negative targeting.